how to make your potential customers false beliefs and objections obsolete what's up guys marty here and Today, I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, I read secret number five in the book, Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. I've been going through this and, you know, every time I read through it, something different jumps out to me. And I always like to share one thing per chapter because, you know, like this book is amazing. You should definitely pick it up. And the thing that popped out to me today was this, it was, Russell Brunson calls this concept the big domino and I I like that way of thinking about it but I also have a, a slightly different way this is just how I've wrapped my head around this thing and in order to illustrate this I, I have my whiteboard behind me but I've just been giving a lot of thought lately to what actually gets people to take action uh, and what is the most effective thing to do? And uh, the answer itself is, is fairly simple. But before I tell you just outright, let me ask you a question. Do you like it when your buttons have been pushed? What kind of, what kind of meaning have you assigned to getting your buttons pushed? Probably pretty negative, right? So think of it like this. Uh, there's, there's oftentimes, especially with somebody who is uh, just, uh, you know, unable to start physically moving, unable to start taking action and leveling up their health. They have so much pain associated with, uh, with working out. Working out is another one of those terms that just itself it brings about a negative connotation because there's so much pain associated to it, you know, and oftentimes people are working out like we've been led to believe some of these concepts like no pain, no gain and all that kind of good stuff. Right. So somebody hears the word working out and they think pain of course they're not going to do it. Human beings don't behave that way. Human beings are going away from pain and towards pleasure all the time, whether you realize it consciously or not. So I was thinking about that and I was thinking about all the objections, all the false beliefs that somebody might have as it relates to fitness or nutrition or something like that. Today, I'm just going to use working out as my example here. So let's, let's think about some examples of what people might think some objections they might have is like, I don't have time to work out. I, I have to work out twice a day in order to see results. I have to starve myself. I have to go on a diet. I have to, uh, I have to change my entire schedule. I have to uh, I have to live a boring life. I have to and like they just keep on and on. You've heard them all before, right? So they just go on and on. It's like I've I've tried I've oh that's a good one. I've tried every I've tried every diet. I've tried every workout plan and program. I've done this, I've done that. And so you have all these buttons here. And the problem with most people, according to Tony Robbins, most people major in minor things. So one thing I've learned, just this universal concept that, that transcends fitness, transcends marketing, it's just the universal principle is a pull is much more powerful than a push. Like if you're pushing buttons, that's a command, that's pain, that's somebody else telling you what to do. But whenever you're pulled towards something, you just magnetically attracted. So instead, what I like to think about is there's a lever above all of these objections, above all of these false beliefs. Like there's just, let me see if I can make this here. Here's, here's a lever right here, and we're just going to pull that down. And it renders 
all of these obsolete. Now the question becomes, how do you find out what the big lever is? How do you get to the pull instead of a push? Well, you have to identify what Russell Brunson calls the big domino. And I'll, I'll give you a little fitness example today here, and we'll, we'll wrap this one up and call it a day. Um, in, in, in the book, sort of the formula he gives. Now, I'm not going to give it all away because, like I said, this book is something amazing. Uh, here it goes. If I can make people believe my new opportunity, your new opportunity, is are the key to what they desire the most and is only attainable through my specific vehicle, then all other objections and concerns become irrelevant and they have to give me money. All credit to Russell Brunson on that big domino statement right there. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of, a lot of ways you can actually mess that up as straightforward as it sounds. Uh, and, uh, you know, he shares, three mistakes but in here associated with it but the number one mistake is you're not in the prolific zone you're in the mainstream so with with nutrition counseling and a system that I was brought up in I talked the other day about like the five curiosity hooks and the the returning back to basics returning to fundamentals and I remember Mike Dolce did that to me whenever I was 100 pounds overweight but whenever I tried to teach it at first, I was so mainstream sounding with it. It was like, there's no, there's no magic to this. Just eat real food. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, it's like, you know, the, what, what, dead gummit. This is embarrassing. Uh, the food table triangle thing. I can't think of the exact word for it. It's like, you're not in the mainstream. If you're talking about that, if you're talking, if you're like, if you're like, the way to lose weight is to diet and exercise. The way to lose weight is burn more calories than, than you consume. And I thought back to that time and Mr. Mike Dolce, four times MMA trainer of the year was like, it's not about counting calories. That was prolific. It's like, you mean I don't have to count calories? That would be another one of these things. I had to count calories. I had to spend all my time measuring everything out. You don't have to count calories. It's easier than that. You don't have to exclude nutrients, carbs, fats, proteins, especially in today's world where like all these diets are, uh, you know, nutrient exclusive. Uh, and, you know, I'm just not a believer that that works in any capacity, whether it be carbs, fats, or proteins. Uh, as long as they're coming from the proper source. So for me, I, I'm like, if I can make people believe that not working out and not going on a diet is the key to losing weight, eliminating joint pain, feeling like a champ, et cetera, et cetera, however I would word that, and is only attainable through, let's just make this up off the top of my head right now, uh, the werewolf anatomy system. Had I come up with that? then all objections and concerns become irrelevant and they have to give me money. So that is, that's how you say, stay prolific. Now you might be like, dude, that's like a total, total lie. It's like, of course people have to, you know, diet and exercise. And I would argue with you that, that no, I never want my clients to go on a diet again. I want them to have a sustainable lifestyle change where they eat this way forever and they never have to go on any more crash diets. I don't want people to exercise to put themselves in pain. The trick is, you know, it's really quite easy. You train to heal yourself. You train to stand up straight. That's really all it is. Working on standing up straight, keeping your spine, spinal alignment and your hips loose, that's the real secret. I, I can't tell you, I mean, like gone are the days of endless cardio and, and staying on the treadmill forever. If you just follow these three simple principles, loosen the hips, strengthen the core, integrate into everyday movement. So that's it. That's the lesson for the day. That is how you stay prolific and make 
make your potential clients, customers curious enough and do them the greatest service ever of changing their belief by identifying the big domino and pulling that lever and making all of these buttons, all of these commands, all of these negatives disappear. And remember, you're one upgrade away. By the way, you can pick up a copy of Expert Secrets for free. All you got to do is uh, cover shipping. And I'm also going to give you uh, some cool bonuses, one of which is uh, my webinar presentation, the actual slides that I've been using out of this book right here. And I've been working on it for like a year and a half, spent hundreds of hours on it, uh, testing it, tweaking it. And I want you guys to have it. So all you have to do is click the link above, grab a free copy of your book and, and let me know that you did grab it. And I'll make sure that you get those bonuses. So see you next time.